right, everybody, we are in Buckle Tip Coffee's lab, and this is where the, the awesome process of roasting the coffee goes into place, creating the amazing coffee flavors that you're gonna get to have. There's Arturo in the background. It is a family affair. There's Daliani, there's Joel, Levy. Uh, Arturo Jr., Adriel's not here. He's actually at the shop selling coffee. So uh, just wanted to give you a brief tour of the place, and we're gonna see how they roast some of this amazing coffee. All right, so we're gonna turn it over to Arturo. We are so blessed and so happy to uh, be able to craft uh, this coffee for all of you. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for your prayers as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, today um, we're doing two things. We're uh, putting in the bag uh, some of the coffee we've already wasted. This is some of the uh, dark roast that we prepared of the traditional uh, coffee. And um, we are hand selecting every single bean, trying to make it as beautiful as possible for every one of you. And now we're going, uh, as you can see here on my, on my little board, we've done all the espresso batches, all the dark ones, all the medium roast. And now we're gonna start with the um, geisha. So geisha, um, some of you may have heard, some of you uh, don't know yet, but Geisha is uh, one of the most expensive ones. So we're leaving the best uh, for last. So we have, uh, this is my uh, profiling and warm up batch. This is only 500 grams. We're probably going to do um, four pounds at a time. And uh, in this, we're going to be able to tell, you know, with this 500 grams, um, how the coffee is going to uh, behave and write everything down, forget my mess, all my little numbers and all the, you know, little adjustments we make here in the roaster. Um, so yeah, uh, trying to make uh, the best uh, possible, the best roast profile possible. Uh, this is usually going to a uh, light to medium roast because um, it's uh, where geisha starts you know, really glowing. If we do a more of a darker roast uh, or full city roast, uh, we're gonna hide all those flowers, all those fruity notes, and that's what we want out of this particular coffee. So I'm gonna drop it at 227 uh, uh, degrees Fahrenheit. So, and as soon as I drop it, you're gonna see how I start my timer. I'm gonna open the airflow and I'm gonna shut down the heat okay at 227 227 shut down the heat to open up all the airflow and I'm gonna leave it there for a couple of minutes with the heat from the drum and then we will show you what happens once it's ready okay see you soon okay so i'm asking Eric, uh, arturo to tell us a little bit about this machine and why you adjust airflow why you adjust temperature why you do all these crazy things to it to make it just right okay to begin with the beans are roasted by uh, different elements we have convection and conduction uh, conduction is the heat uh, as it heats the, the beans with the metal, right? Um, just like the pan. And uh, convection is the hot air that is revolving around inside of the drum. So uh, we need to um, make sure we know our recipe on which heat we want at different stages of the roast. So um, we have uh, a scale here of the airflow. 10%, uh, 20%, 30%, 40%, all the way to 100%. Uh, percent. And um, as the bean uh, goes through different stages, like let's say um, the, um, the drying phase or the maillard or what we call the yellowing or browning or more simple terms, caramelization, uh, we play with, uh, with the temperature. The control gauge of the temperature is right here. This is the pressure of gas that we that we do, and this is the control knob. And then we also play with the amount of airflow. 
that is, for example, when the coffee is cracking, when the coffee is at its peak, uh, we adjust the airflow to 100% because we want all the uh, smoke to go out. We don't want it to be kept in because then the coffee may end up tasting smoky and not cooking properly. So um, we just have to pay attention to those things and we, for example, open it to 50% when the coffee uh, changes to yellow, uh, it's in full yellowing stage, uh, to 50%. So it's a mix of 50% hot air and the heat we get from the gas. Because I am smell, I can smell the coffee now. I yeah, can, it, I can yeah, start it's, to smell it's, it. It's, it's, it's starting to change. You can see some, some of the shaft uh, coming uh -huh. out here. That means it's uh, ending the drying, the drying phase. And if we take a scoop gear sample, we can definitely see it's looking more pale mm -hmm. uh, than in the beginning, but still a little bit green, greenish tone. I don't know if the camera will pick that up, but it's, it's still a greenish tone. Yep. When, when we see the change to full yellow, that's when we're going to do our next change to 50% um, um, airflow and so on. But every coffee is roasted differently. So um, we're trying to see this one, how, how is it going to turn out with the adjustments that um, we're going to make based on our previous uh, screen. Right now it's uh, it's cracking. It's uh, the beans. The humidity is still left, and the bean is uh, expanding. So the beans are, you know, uh, in a transformation process right now. And we can monitor them and see what's their look, what's smell, and uh, we open the airflow slowly to 100%. And lower our temperature um, to 20-25% uh, of the capacity. I'm going to turn it off right now. And it's about to be ready. Right, let's see. Difference in the color. Oh yeah. Yeah. That also a difference in the size of the beans. The this, is smaller. Yeah. In uh, right now we can see, you know, it's gonna totally be a different uh, profile. But uh, we just have to taste it. Yeah. You have to sacrifice for you. All right, so we got it here. This is the uh, the Geisha profile. Arturo just brewed it. This is the one we just um, actually roasted as well. And uh, let me give it a taste test. The smell is very sweet and smooth. No bitterness whatsoever. Oh yeah, that is true Geisha all the way. Ultra smooth, fruity, um, incredible bouquet. Um, something you have probably never tasted before if you've never had Geisha before. But I guarantee um, it'll be a unique coffee that you're going to love.